Taking a walk in the woods here in Upper Michigan, looking for mushrooms. I'm looking specifically for chanterelle mushrooms and whatever else we might find. Also around right now are lobster mushrooms. I found a few last week, not many. I think we'll start seeing a lot more here soon. And also other mushrooms like chicken of the woods. Uh, soon we'll be seeing shrimp of the woods and uh, maybe even some oysters. Not really sure, but you can't find these things by sitting at home on your couch or even going to the grocery store. They're not always available and if you want to get them for free, you've got to get out and find them. Anyway, with any luck, we're going to find exactly what we came for. Kind of looking at the ground and trying to find anything yellow that pops. Now I know there were some here last week and we just got a lot of rain. Whoa. I almost stepped on that one. Just about stepped on that one. Yeah. I'm just looking at it, I'd get a good piece off of there. Definitely chanterelle. Probably would have been a good, a good one to pick, but uh, fortunately was not. So what I'd like to do around this time is just put the bucket down and uh, leave your bucket as a focus point and walk around and see what you can see. Maybe you'll find some more on the ground somewhere. Maybe you'll see where they were going or coming from and then you can follow it up the hill because a lot of people don't realize but mushrooms tend to flow downhill from other sources and uh, just like I'm looking at now my bucket's right down there and I can see there's one right here here's some older ones older ones that looks kind of old as well that one's got a slug on it let's just keep walking up here and see what we got we'll come back to our bucket People always ask me, do you really carry buckets of mushrooms out of the woods? No, no. To be honest with you, I like carrying a seat to sit on. It rained here last night in Upper Michigan. Everything is wet. You don't want to sit on anything. Perfect. Bring a bucket to sit on. And as well, you can use it what it's used for, a bucket. All right, so... This looks like a good area to start at. We'll go back here, get our bucket, pull our knife, and uh, we'll get to work. See how many chanterelle mushrooms we can score today. One, two there. There's one over there underneath that log right there. Picked a couple over here. Try to be careful where I step here. You can see one there and one over there. A couple more that I just found. I'm going to show you here. We clip off the end, number one, to get the dirt off. Number two, so I can look in the middle and make sure it's not too buggy. Make sure it's a solid stem. Just to make sure that it is a chanterelle mushroom. These are some beauties here. Mosquitoes are out today. Got my DEET on, so we're good. That one you can see is buggy. It's kind of disgusting inside. I wouldn't want to eat that. Then you pull the next one here, and same way, it's all buggy and ugh. Let's go down here and get the
it's a good one. Not the prettiest, but it's a good one. Let's go find some more. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. See one over there underneath there? See it? Fingers underneath, wiggle, and pull right up. Cut the top, bottom off, check it. It's not too buggy, that's that's good. Nice chanterelle mushroom into the bucket. Let's see what we can do here. There's that one, there's that one. Like I said, it's a little hard to uh, hold the camera and pick mushrooms so we'll just break them off and put them right there a couple other ones here oh that one's got a slug on it see the slug hey mr slug we're gonna let him have that one any others there's one hiding under the grass see that under the leaves these by that now I'll go look around oh, here's one right here underneath the leaf look at that. see be really careful look at that pretty one very nice put that in there with those we'll clean those up here in a minute I'll put my bucket down next to one right there Two or three right here. Let's see if I can get the whole clump up at once. Oh yeah. One, two, three for. Two for. <laughs> There's two more right there. Under the leaves, see? Yeah? Under the leaves. We need more rain. We definitely need more rain. And I'm leaving that one there because it'll get bigger. All right, let's go clean these. We'll cut these off there. Check the insides. In the bucket. Cut, check, in the bucket. Chanterelle mushrooms are really good with uh, anything. Steak. Really any kind of, uh, ooh, that one's kind of buggy. Anything you eat mushrooms with. I mean, if you like mushrooms with your steak, this is a good mushroom with your steak. If you like mushrooms with your spaghetti, this is a good mushroom with spaghetti. Really, anything you use mushrooms for, these are good for. Now, if you don't want to pick them out in the woods and combat mosquitoes like I am right now, you can always check out your local farmer's market. As a matter of fact, here in Iron Mountain, we have a farmer's market every Saturday morning. And every Saturday morning, there is a mushroom um, distributor there who sells chanterelle mushrooms when they pick them so that's one solution you can do that's one thing you can do if you don't uh, want to get out here in the elements maybe you can't maybe again you don't want to fight mosquitoes with a knife in your hand that would be dumb but anyway I got to get moving I got to get away from these bugs and I uh, hope you are enjoying this video and uh, I hope you like these chanterelle mushrooms You know, a lot of the times as a content creator and somebody who makes videos, I've got to keep you excited, keep you motivated, keep you watching. And a lot of the times, like mushroom hunting, the only way to do that is to find mushrooms. What you don't normally see uh, is uh, me climbing and walking miles to make this video I'm not even joking I've been out here already since uh, let's see six o'clock I started this morning see what time it is it's eight o'clock now I know I've at least walked two miles 
to get into this point, maybe even three. And uh, man, a lot of climbing, a lot of looking, and a lot of finding. I don't really have a whole lot in there yet. I'd like to fill my bucket. That'd be uh, a great Saturday morning. Whether or not I will, I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a little bit more on uh, finding mushrooms. It's not easy. It's not for the faint of heart. And if you're a smoker like I am, man, it's going to kill you. So this is called ghost pipe, which is used medicinally. I'll give you a look of it right here. It's just starting to pop up. It's a plant, it's not a mushroom. These are the flowers. And little seed pods in there will drop out and uh, create more ghost pipe. And as we can see, there's a little bit more right down here. LBMs. You know what LBMs are? Little brown mushrooms. Right, here's more ghost pipe. It's up in the air now. When those fall over, the seeds will fall down to the ground releasing more ghost pipe. If you are going to pick these, you should just pull them out of the ground as far as they can come like that and just collect the whole thing. And then what people normally do is they put this into like a grain alcohol and soak it, sometimes shaking it, but soaking it for a long period of time. And then eventually they take the material out of the grain alcohol and you're left with a ghost pipe tincture which is used medicinally I'm not going to get into that you'll have to do your own research on ghost pipe where are you mushroom 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 <laughs> I swear every time I do that I find one or more there's one right here there's one right there Where do we go from here? My bucket. See my bucket way over there? That's what you gotta do. You just gotta put your bucket down and start walking around and looking, trying to find them. We'll pick these two up and just carry them for now. Here, mushroom, 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 mushroom. Here, mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Do you think that works? I don't think it does either, but it's fun to do. <coughs> I'm always curious to know if there's somebody uh, nearby that might be hearing me going, did I hear somebody just go here, mushroom, 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 mushroom. Yep, it is a lot of walking in the woods. I circle back over to my bucket now. I found these two. I haven't seen much else this way, so I'm gonna go back across that way and uh, keep tracking them. I slowly working myself up this hill. Like I said, a lot of the times when you find mushrooms down below, if you're on a hill, go up the hill. Slowly go up the hill. Older ones right here. I'll show you the older ones. Mr. Slug is eating on the older one right there. See the older one? And that one's not too bad, huh? Oh, a little caterpillar on there eating. We'll just we'll leave those there for the for the little creatures to eat on. Been seeing a lot of posts on Facebook um, this year about very buggy mushrooms that uh, the mushrooms people have been finding full of bugs and one of the reasons is the lack of rain we haven't had that much rain so unless you can find young mushrooms like this one see even that one's been eaten a little bit but for the most part it's a good mushroom barely even a little dirt I don't even I'll just break that off with my finger and put it in a bucket right, we'll keep looking a lot of the times when you're standing in one spot, 
You can just look around and find more. Look at that. Looky there. Yep. Yep. Into the bucket. So I've also been finding a couple of uh, lobster mushrooms. You'll recognize these as uh, something that tastes like seafood. Grows really close to the ground. And it's actually a fungus that takes over another mushroom. That is exactly what lobster mushroom is about. It's, it's a fungus that takes over another mushroom and just totally devours it, but turns it into a very edible product. Here's another uh, nice little chanterelle. Hopefully we'll find a whole bunch more like this right in this area. We're gonna play a game of, can you find the lobster? Hmm. Yep. Can you find the lobster? Let's play. Do you see it? Do you see the lobster yet? Right there, do you see it? I bet you do now, don't you? Lobster, lobster mushroom. All good, it's good too. There's a baby back there behind it. Oh, mosquito in my ear. Let's harvest this one. Fungus takes over another mushroom, turns it this color. This is called lobster mushroom. Mosquitoes have been driving me crazy. I cannot wait until the sun gets up just a little bit more. Kind of drives them out of here. Oof, fierce this morning. At least I haven't seen any biting flies. Here, mushroom, 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 mushroom. Where are you? <laughs> Ooh. Well, this one all hiding underneath tree branches and stuff. This one actually looks fairly fresh. Oh yeah, grab it from the bottom. Look at that beauty. Beauty. Here, mushroom, 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 mushroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms. 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 Mm -hmm. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are good. Mushrooms make me feel happy. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms. Oh, you're still there. I didn't know you were still there. We're working on filling this bucket here. I just don't know where to go. Where do I go? I don't know. I already went that way. We better go this way. Here, mushroom, mushrooms. Anyway, until we find more mushrooms or fill my bucket, whichever comes first, I'll be back. Now comes the fun part. Let's see what I got. I just gotta go through and clean them a little bit, get them ready for market. A couple of nice lobster mushrooms. Remember what I said, how nice and red they are. A couple of smaller pieces here. A couple of very nice big chanterelle mushrooms. Not too bad of a haul for a couple hours out in the woods. Couple of nice good brush strokes, and you're pretty much done. It comes right off, and uh, you're ready to go. You know, just like with any other mushrooms, simple washing will suffice, and uh, just get some of the dirt off. There's no poop. These doesn't. These aren't growing on manure like you saw. They're picked right in the middle of the woods, and uh, just a little bit of dirt, a little mother nature on them. Nothing wrong with them. Anyway, we're gonna clean these up. And I'm actually going to sell these. Um, I know a mushroom farmer that is actually at market. And we're going to go to market and sell them. That's not going to be on the video. Uh, they don't like it when you walk up and sell mushrooms on video. 
Yeah, I'm not going to uh, record that part, but uh, I do want you guys to slam that, slam that thumbs up button. I hope you guys enjoyed the hunt today. I hope you guys enjoyed my little uh, talk about chanterelle mushrooms, how to find them. And uh, I hope it helps you on your adventure going out to find your mushrooms. Leave a comment down below if you uh, mushroom hunt or if you're interested in learning more about chanterelle mushrooms. And I'll see what I can do for you. Make sure you're a subscriber as well because I do like to make a lot of videos all about different subjects, mushrooms, every single little bit of thing I can do. And as always, everybody, thanks for watching and have an awesome day wherever you are in the world. I'm going to go back to finishing cleaning these mushrooms up and get them to market. Somebody's going to be eating these tonight in the Crystal Falls area. I guarantee it.